welcome back so in last video we discussed about area calculation with a baseline and offsets and there was also one more constraint it was of regular intervals this d was equal all along okay today we are discussing about area with baseline and offset but with irregular intervals that is all these values will be different not e not at all equal d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 etc okay so if this is uh, 10 meters it will be 7 meters this will be 9 meters this will be 11 meters 20 meters it can be as much variety of values d values as we can so again you have to calculate the area enclosed in like this okay so also you will be having uh, ordinate values o1 o2 o3 o4 o5 o6 o7 etc okay so to calculate the area enclosed between a baseline and offset values with irregular intervals we have two methods first method is calculate by adding each areas that is you will calculate this first one each of this we will take separately one two three four five six we will be taking these six areas separately as six trapezoids okay so then we will be calculating first area of first trapezoid second episode third fourth fifth and sixth then we will be adding all these up okay then you will get the total area it's a obvious type of calculation of area so we will be calculating episode considering it as a episode episode and we will be calculating area separately and we will add all the areas to get total area okay that's it and second one is the main one area using coordinates and that is the important point here area calculation using coordinates okay so same diagram or same type of diagram but instead of having uh, offsets there may be offsets here ok suppose this is the baseline and offset there are only 3 sections 3 divisions and uh, interval is d1 d2 d3 ok and these are O1, O2, O3, O4. Okay. And first we will be calculating coordinates of all these points. Okay. Intermediate point won't be needed because it is a straight line. Okay. So we will need coordinates of all these points. How many divisions are there? There will be increase of numbers. So with coordinates like x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, etc. Okay, then you will calculate the value. Okay, so we are getting into a problem or the equation. If suppose you have four coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2 x3 y3 
x4 x4 y4 okay so four points point 1 point 2 point 3 and point 4 And the, that combines of it, of them. I'm just taking four points for easier understanding. Okay, it can be n number of points. Right now we are only considering four points. Okay, then how will we calculate the area enclosed between these four points, P1 to P4? Okay, and I think you understand understood that this is a closed circuit, as like this. Okay, and area will be equal to half of and concentrate to this point this is a shortcut it, this method will not be uh, usually found in textbooks so pay attention half of now we will be writing like this x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 ok and then we will elaborate 1 by 2 into we, we can take y1 for just for the sake of understanding I am taking y2 initially ok y2 we will open a bracket y2 just open another bracket y2 the next one x3 and the previous one minus x4 ok so see what I did I took one y value y2 you can take y1 it will be coming in the next one y2 into next one next x value x3 minus previous one x1 x3 minus x1 ok so plus take y3 next one is x4 previous one is minus x2 ok understand so next y4 next one is actually you will take a roundabout and next one is x1 consider as a closed circuit as it is a closed circuit y4 the next x value for y4 is x1 x1 minus x3 last one plus y1 next one is x2 previous one is as it is a closed circuit x4 minus x4 close bracket that's it that is the area using coordinates method of finding area using coordinates if you have four points you can have n number of points you write in this manner and transform that format to this format take one y value and multiply it with the difference of between next x value and the previous x value y2 x3 minus x1 plus y3 into x4 minus x2 y4 next one is x1 as it is a closed one next one x1 minus x3 plus last one y1 x2 minus x4 you can write it in, it in the front i just wrote x2 uh, y2 and y3 in the front because it is easy, more easy to understand okay so this is how you calculate area using coordinates hope you understood Rewatch this video while I was taking these values and do it by yourself with this equation.
okay uh, it can be a seven values eight values nine values but the procedure is the same so do it by yourself write in a notebook this format and memorize it so it will be a frequently asked question okay so try to do this problem uh, two problems as assignment okay and thank you